Hello, I'm Atubo George. Now today is Friday. Praise God. Wow, all week, all month actually, we've been on First John. Now, isn't it amazing? It's taking us one month to finish one book for five chapters. Wow, praise God. Now that's because I need to go in depth. See, John. John is one disciple of Jesus we must all take seriously because this man knew Jesus. Everything he speaks, he is speaking in depth the mind of the Lord Jesus. So take him seriously. That's why I took time to get in deep in all these things I'm talking about. Take John's gospel, take John's epistles seriously. I don't know if we're going to go into chapter 2, um, in 2nd John and 3rd John, if the Lord permits us, we'll do that. If not, we'll go into something else. But because I, I want you to un get this thing. Praise God. Father, we bless you today. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You are so marvelous, Lord. You are beautiful. You are good. And we love you because you first loved us. So even right now, I declare burdens are being lifted in the life of everyone watching and listening right now. Yokes are being destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God, praise God. Now, we, we stopped in verse 18 yesterday. It says, we know that whoever is born of God, verse 18, 1 John chapter 5. Whoever is born, we know that whoever is born of God does not sin. But he who has been born of God keeps himself, and the wicked one does not touch him. We know that we are of God, and the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. He controls them. They do things at his will. He just blows on them and they just flow. Now he says that's where the whole world is. They, they, they are under the bondage. They are under the sway of the wicked one. So he sways them in whatever direction he wants them to go. But we are different. Why are we different? We are born of God. We are born of God. We are born of God. And the Bible says the word of God, he that does the word of God lives and abides forever. He is strong. He's not moved by anything. But the one who's not born of God is swayed by the wicked one. He's in, a, he's in bondage to Satan. So anywhere Satan wants to push him, blows this way, he blows. Blows that way, he blows. But we that are born of the Spirit, even though we are, the, we are like the wind, we are firm in our place. Thank you, Jesus. I love us 20. Ha! And we know. Hallelujah. I love when he says, and we know. There is no atom of doubt in our minds. He says, and we know that the Son of God has come. He's not saying he shall come. The Son of God has come and has given us an understanding that we may know him who is true hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus he says we know that the son of god has come and he has given us an understanding heart so that we will know him that is true and that's why he gave us the Holy Spirit. Look, 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 look. It says that we may know him who is true. And we are in him who is true. In his son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Jesus prayed, he said, this is eternal life. That they might know you, the true God, and Jesus whom you have sent. John is repeating it here again. He says that we may know him. He said the son of God has come. And he has given us an understanding so that we, we will now know him that is true, brothers and sisters. It is the will of God that you know him. You know, someone says, how can we say we know God? We know him. Oh, yes, we know him. Oh, we cannot lie. We, we can't say we don't know him. We know him. He's given us the spirit of God so that we will know him. He's given us. Now, what is the understanding? You know, oh, mashallah. Look, 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 look. Mm. 
Mm. Look at what he says here. He says, and we know that the Son of God has come. That's Jesus. He came physically. And he says, and has given us an understanding. How did he give us that understanding? By, by the Holy Ghost. When he said, wait for the Holy Ghost to come. That is the understanding he's talking about. For he said in, in Proverbs, say, I am understanding. Proverbs chapter 8. I am understanding. Thank you, Jesus. If you don't have this walking in your life, you might just be walking in a part of death. I'm telling you the truth. The reason for Jesus' is coming is to give us life. But how does he administer that life to us? By giving us this understanding John is referring to. And when we understand it, when we have the understanding, what do we understand? We understand him, Jesus. And then we understand the Father. Kalaba So they are no more mysteries to us. And he says that, and we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding that we may know him who is true. And we are in him who is true. Now, we know him, then we know us that we are in him that is true. When you know him and you know that you are in him that is true, no one can sway you. No one can deceive you. You will not be woke carried to and fro by every wind of doctrine. I have seen people who I taught the word of God and I know before God that the word that I have taught them is the truth. I have met people who by sitting down with them, the spirit of God gave me understanding concerning the issues and concerning what, what they, need, they are dealing with. And I spoke to them about the truth and I said, this is the truth. And I said, yes, it is the truth. And they still turned away. They turned away. The word of God had no force, no, no, no force in them. They couldn't stay on it. Brothers and sisters, listen, it says that we may know him that is true. And we are in him that is true. To know him and to see yourself in him. The seeing yourself in him. <laughs> Is that my life? You want to talk about walking in divine health? We're talking, this is what we're talking about. You want to talk about not getting scared at all? You want to talk about abiding in love? This is it. It is that understanding that he has given to us that brings us to that place of knowledge so we see him as he is this thing is not about getting something from god you see people make this mistake they come to christ and then they see after two years after five years they, they don't see that physically their lives have moved forward brothers and sisters if your life have not moved forward physically in five years it means it has not moved forward spiritually so you don't know what you're doing. And I've seen, you know, sometimes people, people are just waiting. You know, I've, I've been in Christ two years now. By now, things should start moving. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. How it works is in your contemplation of him who is true. It's in your discovering your location that you are in him. It is a mental thing. It starts from the realm of the spirit. It comes into the natural. It comes into your physical. It affects the way you think. It affects the way you talk. It affects the way you walk. So if the way you talk five years ago is still the way you talk today, brothers and sisters, no understanding has come to you. So your life will remain the same. Check your mouth. You will know if the understanding of him has come to you. Because we keep growing in him. And as we grow in him, our minds are renewed in him. Our minds are renewed. And when your mind is renewed, your words will change. I'm not talking about turning the stuff doing positive confession. Okay, I'm not going to be saying, you see, let me tell you something. Why you stop? Why are you going to say, why are you saying you will not say this again? Is it because somebody preached the message? No, sir. It is until the word of God comes to you and say, hey, stop talking like this. 
For example, I don't call our children kids. Some of you have heard me say before, I don't call my children kids and I don't let anyone call them kids. You say, why? What is wrong? Because the word of God came. It's not studying. I wasn't studying. I didn't hear a preacher. I wasn't looking. No, 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 no. I, I was fellowshipping with the Lord. The Lord was teaching me some things. And then the Lord spoke to me and said, this is the reason you shouldn't call your children kids. Because it's a wrong thing to say. Because the root word kids is children of goods. I said, wow. You know, you know, you just feel, oh, it's a slang, you know, kid, 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 kid. Yeah, but the root word is good. I'm, I'm, this, is, this is not something I, I, I try to make up in my own reasoning. This is the word of God that came to me. You, you can continue what you're doing, but I've received this word of God. I choose to dwell in him. I get what I'm doing. I dwell in him. How do you dwell in him? When you make your words his word he said don't call your children kids no more i said yes lord i will not call my children kids no more so someone's talking about how are your kids i said oh children they are praise god yeah and, and if i'm close enough i said we don't call them kids we call them children said, why and you know i explain you explain to some people like mm, well you know just trying to be religious it's not about being religious it's about lining them up to heaven the way heaven sees them should be the way i see them if heaven say don't call them kids i don't call them kids i call them by the name that heaven has called them praise god and that's why as a couple you just got married you don't just naturally wait and hey, now we're married we'll get pregnant hey you've got to deliberately ask god for children you deliberately ask god for children what am i talking to you about the understanding to know him that is true why so when god gives you children he gives them with names oh he gives them with names you, you, you expecting a child, don't go helter skelter looking, searching for names, oh, boy name, girl name. Now come on, Nakasha. Listen, go before the Lord, go fast and pray and say, Father, oh, you, you give. Children are the heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is His reward. Lord, we have an understanding. See, that's what understanding that you are the one giving us your heritage to keep. So, Lord, what is the name of the heritage, the, the heritage that you are giving to us? What's the name of this reward that you're giving to us? You don't have children yet? Very simple. If you do what I'm telling you now, you will have children in the next nine months. I'm telling you the truth. Hold yourself. Hold the husband. Hold your wife. Wife, hold your husband. And say, Father, today, we make a demand because we have married now. We make a demand that you give us children whose names are written in the book of life. Hold your hands together, pray like this. The Father in heaven will answer you. And he will give you a name for those child, children. He will give you. All your children, you must receive their names from heaven. Spend time with the Lord until he gives you. It gives you an assurance that God knows these children. It gives you an assurance that their future is surely going to be bright beyond you. Because what God gives his word in, you see, I know, I know our children, they are born of God. I know, why? Because they came from God. They... And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us an understanding that we may know Him that is true. And we are in Him who is true, in His Son jesus christ this is the true god and eternal life it says little children keep yourselves from idols don't go follow what doesn't make sense hold on to the truth hold on to his word and guess what he will prove himself true to you he will bless you he will confirm his word in your life you will see changes glory to god hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. I'll see you on Monday. Now remember, Monday is the 31st of May and we're going to be having that Monday night, breaking into the 1st of June. We're gonna be having our 24 hour fast, starting 12 midnight on Monday. And then we'll fast throughout Tuesday and until 12 midnight Tuesday. And we're gonna be praying according to the watches. Brethren, 
join this prayer meeting by Zoom and you will surely be blessed. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.